that scary movie. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Chuck. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a very fantastic day. My name is Aaron Jr. Today on the channel, I am so freaking excited to come back in here and doing a re-review of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. The best ever. The joke of the children. I'm glad you'll be able to watch it. You've got to believe me. They're going to kill us. All of us. Stop it! Halloween. The world's going to change tonight, Doctor. Happy Halloween. Stop it! Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. The night no one comes home. Which was released in 1982 and was directed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Now, I just finished watching this movie as of last night, again, specifically for this kind of re review, as I did do a review for this movie last year for Halloween. But I figured since I am doing a review series for the whole franchise, I kind of felt like it's appropriate to kind of come in here and kind of do like a re review of sorts or just kind of talking about the movie yet again, specifically for this franchise review. And I'm so freaking excited just to kind of get all my thoughts and opinions out there for you guys on the Halloween franchise as I personally love the Halloween franchise especially the first one but I actually just finished watching Halloween 4 and I'm super excited to look about talking about that one but last night I put on this film called Halloween 3 Season of the Witch on this glorious 4k release I think it looks absolutely fantastic now uh, Tom Atkins is one of my favorite actors of all time and I think he just does a fantastic job in any role that he does and honestly this movie to me just screams Halloween season this is definitely a perfect film to put on for this time of year and it honestly it still holds up to this day yes there is no michael myers and it's kind of like its own story it definitely has some more vein of like invasion of the body snatchers from like the 1950s and also the 1970s version of invasion of the body snatchers it definitely has that kind of same similar feel um and that's honestly one thing i love about this film is that it's just kind of out there and it's definitely one that either people really enjoy this film or just people really despise this film and i'm still in the camp that really super enjoys this film yes it's definitely different than kind of what i'm going for right now for as the halloween franchise movie goes because i'm kind of going into this franchise right now uh you know wanting some more michael myers action because i personally really love michael myers he's definitely one of my more favorite horror villains and you know it's just this movie is definitely a great kind of refresher of what movies franchises can do just with the halloween name or like the horror franchise name that they are in and halloween is definitely one of those franchises where honestly they could just keep on doing this kind of style of being on uh basically set on halloween day or something like that or set a few days before halloween and just kind of use the name of halloween in the movie and just set place around halloween as the theme of the movie and that movie this movie does that perfectly in my opinion this movie to me is definitely the one of the greats in the 80s for sure as regarding like a movie surrounding uh the theme and holiday of halloween and there's definitely a lot of movies like this uh around especially in the 80s and also a lot of some movies that have come out years later that kind of do the same a similar theme um but the halloween 3 season of the witch film is just so much fun to watch and definitely a different take on the you know halloween franchise as we all know today but if they were to come back and do like another movie like this i think it could definitely do well i just don't think it would definitely gather the money numbers as to if they were to have michael myers in the film and sadly that is exactly what this movie happened back in the day you know it didn't really make its profit and all that kind of stuff and you know people hated this film because there was no michael myers in it and of course we all know by now with uh how 
Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers, you know, that was a big selling point of bringing Michael Myers back to the big screen. And this film alone just has some really great characters. I love the score here. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And of course, you get that silver Sam Shamrock commercial stuck in your head as soon as you watch this film. I love the look of the, the masks here. Of course, we get different masks than the Michael Myers mask, but I think the overall look and feel of the Halloween 3 masks are absolutely fantastic. They just, to me, are just comfort food level, and they are just so much fun to watch. Now, basically, the whole premise of this movie is that you have this basically evil villain Cochran who runs this town who basically is making these masks to kill all the children in the world and it's just a really cool concept that I think was definitely specifically made for this time period that I don't think possibly could be made as of today or if it did it definitely would not have that same feel or anything like that because they definitely do have some you know kid killing stuff in here and whatnot um there's definitely some really gruesome scenes in this movie especially with the whole like face melting scene when these when the kids watching the tv and the, the mask and everything like that and it turns into like maggots and stuff it's really super cool really super creepy and eerie and it just cannot be replicated into today's day and age in my personal opinion and uh i think everyone in this film does a great job also the cgi in here i think still holds up really well you get the whole like laser to the uh, face scene as well um really super cool i love the look of it and just the after effect with the practical effects on the makeup on the face and everything i think is fantastic yes a lot of the acting is super cheesy and all that stuff it's definitely not winning any awards by any means but the overall just feel and vibe of everything about this film just has you kind of wonder like a what if kind of scenario of what if this was actually a success and they were to continue doing this because that was their initial plan of you know getting rid of michael myers because we all know from halloween 2 that was supposed to be the conclusion of michael myers and they wanted to do like this whole like tales of kind of situation of having you know like different movies set around the theme of halloween and it just kind of gets me thinking of you know what would have been the outcome of that if that were to actually be the case and we never got any other halloween movies with michael myers and they were just doing their own thing i don't know i think it'd be definitely a very different world if we lived in with that because michael myers is just such a household name at this point that just you know you mentioned michael myers and they're like oh that's halloween you know it's it's definitely one and especially this film alone with uh halloween 3 season the witch it's definitely one of those films where a lot of people have heard about it but maybe not have seen it or maybe they just completely blank that out of their mind and it sucks because i think tom atkins here does a fantastic job in this role he basically plays like a doctor who basically experiences this like murder that happens in the hospital or at least what the nurses do and you know they they want to go and investigate and see what happened because there's these men in black that basically go inside the hospital and you get this really cool like eye gouging scene uh it's super awesome super f super fantastic especially by the time um and you know again this character uh ellie being played by stacy nelkin who i think she does a fantastic job yes they kind of have this weird uh romance thing because she's like i think 20 or th like in her early 20s and tom atkins is like you know in his 50s and 60s and stuff like that it's really awkward and bizarre especially looking back at it in today's day and age uh it's really weird and bizarre but it just it totally works with the film in my personal opinion and uh there isn't a whole lot of cast here but the cast that we do have i think do a fantastic job in their own right and so uh, if you guys you know love this kind of one-off kind of style horror movie you know movies like the fog and all that kind of stuff i think you guys will definitely get a kick out of this one so that is easy why i'm recommending halloween 3 season of the witch and I'm giving it an easy A, A plus rating, A rating, whatever. Like it's A plus for sure for me personally. It just screams the Halloween season, and it kind of gets you in the mood to just continue watching Halloween franchise and maybe checking out some other weird kind of spin-off type movies that kind of take place around Halloween, like Trick or Treat and stuff like that. And uh, this movie is just absolutely fantastic. So if you guys have seen Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, definitely let me know your thoughts about the movie in the comment section down below and honestly this movie i've seen being played on like tubi and amc fear fest here and there not every single year it gets played on so if you guys can definitely pick up the 4k release of the film i think you guys will definitely enjoy yourself and uh, i hope you guys do because it is a fantastic time
time from beginning to end and i hope you all do enjoy it but that is another review down for the halloween franchise next up we'll be talking about halloween 4 the return of michael myers i'm definitely definitely looking forward to that one as it was a lot of fun i totally enjoyed that one so hope you all enjoyed make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see y'all really soon for the next one later guys